Healthy rivers have never been more critical to our planet's health. But as climate change accelerates, rivers face an unprecedented number of new threats. 3,700 large dams are currently planned or are under construction around the world. The good news is that in 2015, International Rivers was there to meet the challenges. With regional offices in China, Southeast Asia, Africa, South Asia, and Latin America, each of our campaigns is crafted by and for the people who know their communities, political landscapes, and river ecosystems best. We always begin our work with grassroots organizations and indigenous communities. The struggle for indigenous rights is particularly heated in the Brazilian Amazon, where a spate of planned dams would flood hundreds of square miles of rainforest, displacing thousands of indigenous people. In 2015, we co-organized a workshop for indigenous communities along the Tapajos Basin. We brought together indigenous groups such as the Munduruku, Kayabi, Apiacan, and Ribatska. The result was an unprecedented alliance between the four groups who now have joined forces with other dam-affected peoples along the river to defend their rights and protect their communities. We also helped bolster the growing civil society movement in the Democratic Republic of Congo. With our support, Congolese NGOs are now demanding transparency about the giant Ingos Redam project. They're also demanding full recognition for the affected communities' rights, including those already displaced by Inga 1 and Inga 2. One dam on the Chaya Reng River in Cambodia would have harmed more than 30 endangered species. For years, we've supported partners who are pressuring the Cambodian government and Chinese companies to pull out. And last year, it worked. In February, the Cambodian Prime Minister suspended the project. A few months later, China's Ministry of Environmental Protection blocked construction of the controversial Zhao Nanhai Mega Dam on the Yangtze River. Our awareness raising campaign was crucial to this win. In recent years, China has emerged as the world's biggest dam builder. International Rivers has been engaging with Chinese dam building companies since 2009. A few years ago, we decided it was time to scale up our impact. We ranked the seven largest dam building companies in China by their social and environmental practices. This was the first time that such a review had ever been conducted. We were rewarded when the sector took our work seriously. We began to lay the groundwork for innovative river protection legislation in several South American countries. We're building a coalition of grassroots groups that are working to pass legislation at the national level. Legislation is crucial because no matter how many bad projects we stop, without long-term legal protection, more dams are pushed into the pipeline. This trend can only be stopped when rivers are protected by law. We need to preserve these healthy ecosystems now and for our future generations. 2015 was a breakthrough year for renewables. While hydropower flatlined, wind and solar saw a massive growth in investment. Along the way, International Rivers has pushed for that change, commissioning studies, releasing reports, leading workshops on alternatives to large dams, and promoting truly renewable energy. At our 30th anniversary gala, we celebrated how far we've come. Our current executive director, Peter Bossard, set down the next challenge. If we can protect rivers for 10 more years, we can make destructive dams a thing of the past. It won't be easy, but river defenders are gaining international recognition. In 2015, two of our longtime partners, Mient Tso and Berta Cáceres, won the Goldman Environmental Prize. In a meeting, Mient told us how important our work was to his struggle. Then, on March 2, 2016, in Honduras, Berta Cáceres was murdered for her opposition to the Aguasarca Dam. It was devastating to lose such a good friend and longtime partner. But Berta's life, as much as her tragic and untimely death, has inspired us to redouble our efforts to protect rivers and defend the rights of indigenous people. 
were only able to do this work with your support. In 2015, thousands of you took action, sending letters to decision makers, signing petitions, sharing our message and supporting our work with generous contributions. Thank you for everything you do. In the next 30 years, International Rivers will fight for sane and humane policies that bring water and energy to the people who need them the most. We will fight for our fisheries, which feed tens of millions of people around the world. And we will fight for our rivers, because the fight for water is the fight for our future. We hope you'll stay with us.